Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain pi molecular orbitals of benzene. Benzene has a hexagonal structure in which the double bonds are present between the carbon atoms. So, structure 1 and structure 2 are equivalent structures. The only difference is the position of the double bonds. So, structure 3 is the resultant of structure 1 and 2 in which each carbon atom has partial double bond character. Each carbon atom in benzene molecule undergo sp2 hybridization. The two valencies of each carbon atom are satisfied by the adjacent carbon atoms. Third valency is satisfied by the hydrogen atom and each carbon atom consists of empty p orbital. So, each carbon atom of benzene molecule contribute a p orbital for pi system formation. So, each carbon atom contribute a p orbital for the formation of pi system and hence it results in the formation of 6 molecular orbitals. So, 6 carbon atoms contribute 6 p orbitals for the formation of 6 molecular orbitals. Let us consider the pi molecular orbital diagram of benzene. As the energy of the system increases, the number of nodal planes also increases. Let us draw the pi molecular orbital of benzene especially pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals. Pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals of benzene have same energy. So, they must be represented at the same energy level. Here, as we move from pi 1 to pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals, here pi 1 molecular orbital has no nodal plane. But coming to the pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals, here one nodal plane is present. So, from pi 1 to pi 2, the nodal planes increases. So, pi 2 molecular orbital consists of vertical nodal plane whereas pi 3 molecular orbital consists of horizontal nodal plane. The nodal plane formation in the case of benzene can be explained through bond and also through atoms. Here in the case of pi 2 molecular orbital, a nodal plane is observed through the bonds. Whereas, in the case of pi 3 molecular orbital, a nodal plane is observed through the atoms. Let us draw the molecular orbital diagram of benzene, especially pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals. Whenever a nodal plane is observed through the atoms, we will not consider the p orbitals present on those two atoms. And hence here we will consider only 4 p orbitals. So, coming to the pi 2 molecular orbital, vertical nodal plane is present and hence these 3 p orbitals are symmetrical to each other and the opposite pair are symmetrical and hence a nodal plane is observed along the vertical plane. 
coming to the pi 3 molecular orbital here a nodal plane is observed through the atoms and hence the above atoms will have symmetry in the similar way the orbitals present on the below atoms will have opposite symmetry so these are the pi 2 and pi 3 molecular orbitals of benzene and 6 p orbitals are contributed towards the pi system formation and hence they have 6 electrons so coming to the filling of the molecular orbitals here we have to follow the half bows and huns principle so 6 electrons are present and hence these three molecular orbitals are filled with the electrons so pi 1 molecular orbital has two electrons similarly pi 2 molecular orbital has two electrons and pi 3 is also has three electrons pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 are the bonding molecular orbitals whereas pi 4 star pi 5 star and pi 6 star are anti bonding molecular orbitals and let us draw the molecular orbital diagram of pi 4 star pi 5 star and pi 6 star here also pi 4 star pi 5 star molecular orbitals are having the same energy so as we move from pi 2 pi 3 to pi 4 star and pi 5 star here the nodal planes will be increased so in the case of pi 4 star and pi 5 star here two nodal planes are observed so for the convenience let us draw the nodal planes first and then represent the p orbitals in the case of pi 4 star nodal planes are observed through the bonds whereas in the case of pi 5 star here nodal planes are observed through the bonds and also through the atoms now let us draw the p orbitals whenever if a nodal plane is observed that means those orbitals are unsymmetrical to each other so this p orbital is not symmetrical with the adjacent p orbital these three these two p orbitals are symmetrical and this is not symmetrical with the adjacent p orbital so we should be very careful while representing the symmetry of the p orbitals and this p orbital is not symmetrical with the adjacent and hence here we have to represent the positive charge and these two p orbitals are symmetrical to each other this is the pi 4 star molecular orbital of benzene coming to the phi pi star molecular orbital diagram one nodal plane is observed through the atoms and the other is observed through the bonds so it is unsymmetrical to the adjacent p orbital and it is unsymmetrical with the adjacent p orbital so here these two are unsymmetrical to each other and these two p orbitals are unsymmetrical to each other so it is the molecular orbital of pi phi star and moving to the pi 6 star molecular orbital as we move from pi 4 and pi 5 star to pi 6 star here there is increase in the nodal planes here in the case of pi 4 star and pi 5 star two nodal planes are observed so in the case of pi 6 star definitely three nodal planes will be observed and all the three nodal planes will pass through the bonds
so let us represent the p orbitals on each carbon atom so each p orbital is unsymmetrical with the adjacent p orbital so this is the molecular orbital diagram of pi 6 star so here three anti bonding molecular orbitals are present namely pi 4 star pi 5 star and pi 6 star here pi 4 star and pi 6 star sorry pi 4 star and pi 5 star molecular orbitals are having the same energy pi molecular orbitals of benzene consists of six molecular orbitals namely pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 star pi 5 star and pi 6 star three are bonding molecular orbitals namely pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 whereas pi 4 star pi 5 star and pi 6 star are anti bonding molecular orbitals pi 2 pi 3 bonding molecular orbitals have the same energy whereas pi 4 star and pi 5 star anti bonding molecular orbitals are having the same energy so pi molecular orbitals of benzene consists of nodal planes the nodal plane formation can be explained through bonds and through atoms the bond order of benzene is 1.5 since partial double bond is present the bond order of benzene is observed as 1.5 it is due to the presence of one sigma bond and one partial pi bond so the wave function of the benzene can be calculated by using the expression xi is equal to c1 xi1 plus c2 xi2 plus c3 xi3 plus c4 xi4 star plus c5 xi5 star plus c6 xi6 star here c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 are the coefficients of corresponding molecular orbitals if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day